Lake Allen Saturday, and it's really flooded. Actually, it's Sunday, but I went down to Riverside Park yesterday, and the water level is ridiculously high. So that brings me to the first thing I want to talk about of the four pieces of old business that I want to go over, because I didn't really get to acknowledge anything from your old video during my singing video. So number one is challenges. So this is my first challenge to you. I challenge you to go to more interesting places for your video, to film at least part, if not possibly all of your video, uh, just so we can get some changes of scenery going on. Other than that, I don't really have anything in mind just yet. The second thing I need to address from your old videos is the hat. I didn't really have any specific reason for wearing it when I was shooting the music video, other than the fact that my hair was just really, really bad that day. In addition to that, I think I was hoping it would maybe sort of distract you from the singing. But I do wear it on occasion, and I guess it's sort of fitting for the whole musical poet thing. Which brings me to something I've been wanting to ask. What is that little thing on your head? I can't figure out what it is. It's just this little piece of something. I, I don't understand. I don't think I really noticed the first time I watched the first video that it was in, but then when I reviewed it, I saw it up there, and I want to I wanna know what it is, because I've never seen you wear it outside of the videos. So the third thing I want to go back over is bubblers versus drinking fountains. That was not the final smackdown. So I was really interested in hearing the history that you gave of the bubbler, but you've not persuaded me. It seems to me that, at best, only bubblers actually manufactured by cola should become bubblers. Sort of like the Kleenex and Band-Aid thing you were talking about earlier. But even with the benefit of the doubt, and I assume that Kohler no longer cares if everyone else calls their products bubblers, because I assume that's what happened, I just hate saying the word bubbler. It's one of those really terrible words that I don't think should exist, like vlog. Except there isn't really a better term for vlog. It's, it's what it does. And I'm going to keep complaining about it, even though I know there's nothing better. But there is a better term for bubbler. And that term? Drinking fountain. Now, if I come across a drinking fountain that actually functions by bubbling up because it's 80 years old, then I will definitely refer to it as a bubbler. But that is the only circumstance in which I will do so. So that brings me to my fourth and final point that I want to talk about, which is something you mentioned in the video before your last video, which is Mary Sue's. I think you're maybe being just a little too generous with them. See, putting a part of the author in a character, while I agree, isn't necessarily a bad thing, and I think it's to a certain degree unavoidable. I mean, if you or I want to write about a character who's a writer, everyone is going to sort of assume that we're drawing from our own experiences, and of course we are. But say I write about an astronaut, I have nothing to go off of, but I'm going to have sort of some of my own assumptions about what an astronaut does or doesn't do. The things he does that I like are going to be things that I think are positive things, the things he does that are bad things are things that I'm going to think are negative things. So I don't think the Mary Sue label applies just because an element of the author is used. Uh, I think it really only applies when you've gone too far and you make a character who's just too good, too everyone is jealous of them, you know, etc., etc. And now a lot of people know about Mary Sue's, such as uh, Bella from the Twilight series, but there's actually a much larger Mary Sue that is very rarely talked about. And that Mary Sue is humanity as a whole in almost every science fiction book or movie ever written or made. I mean, come on, how many times do we see the scenario where it's these huge odds and alien invaders with advanced technology and they come up against humanity and we sort of sneeze at them or do something ridiculous and win? So this tendency to assume that we're better than we are as Mary Sue's extends beyond just one person. I think it definitely applies to our entire race. And I think the only person who's ever really touched on that in an accurate way is Douglas Adams in The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, when humanity is labeled as mostly harmless. I think almost every other account of humanity in science fiction is at least slightly Mary Sue-ish. So that's all I've got. Uh, hopefully in the future I will be making more videos from interesting places and making fewer songs. I will talk to you in more or less four days.